Welcome back. A Sarasota man is facing criminal charges after police say he was practicing medicine without a license. Today, the Sarasota Police Department announced an ongoing investigation into this man who they believe put several patients at risk. ABC 7's Kate Flexter was at the department today during this announcement, and she joins us tonight live with details on this case. Kate. Well, good evening, Haley and Scott. The 70 year old was arrested yesterday after police say he continued to practice medicine even after his license was revoked. It started with an anonymous tip to the Department of Health about Ronald E. Wheeler. The complaint said the former urologist was still seeing patients despite having his license revoked in April. Sarasota police officers visited Wheeler's office undercover, posing as patients. After that, the department executed a search warrant at both of his offices. We needed that to be able to further identify the other potential victims. According to Department of Health records, Wheeler's license was revoked after several public complaints that say he was diagnosing patients with prostate cancer without performing a biopsy, as is the professional standard. Some of the patients who decided to get a second opinion first and found out that they did not have cancer after a tissue biopsy. The department says he was attracting patients from all across the country, touting himself as a highly trained innovator and offering a treatment plan costing $50,000. You go to either one of his websites, it will basically uh, tell you that he's at the top of the heap. At Matthews and Eastmore, attorney Patricia Crowells works on medical malpractice cases and says losing your medical license is not easily done. It would have to be something pretty egregious. Today, she says it's easier than ever for medical scammers to lure patients. Especially in this day and age when people advertise so easily on the internet, um, they can have a website up that looks genuine, they can even make fake testimonials. Now, the department is asking any patient who saw Wheeler between April and July of this year to notify detectives. If there are further victims out there, then we definitely need to bring charges against him on behalf of those victims. If you're interested in figuring out whether or not your doctor is certified, visit our website, mysuncoast.com for more information. Reporting live in Sarasota, Kate Flexter, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.